Hey all you Final Fantasy folk, and those looking to see if you like it. Welcome to my stream. Today we are going to tour a bunch of folks in Primal. Um, these folks are all nightclub owners or nightclubs. And we're going to group these by um, server so that it's easier for your reference. So you'll see that in, in the comments, all the links. So let's go ahead and get started with this. These are clubs that I have frequented over the past six or so months. So they're fairly tried and true for me as in most likely you're going to hit a scene that's very... Um, that's usually pretty uh, active. One way to determine whether or not that you would like to go to a venue is they'll list a DJ on Twitch and you can always take a peek at what's going on there before you spend the time going over to that particular nightclub. So let's go ahead and start and we're gonna start with Behemoth. And the first club on our tour is called Pink Miko. Pink Miko was one of the first ones that I went to, and um, it's still one of my favorites. Maybe it's the name. I don't know. Now this one's over in Lavender Beds, so we're going to go over to Lavender Beds. Now, when you go to one of these nightclubs, there's fair, there's usually a variety of items that they offer as a service. Usually there's a DJ that has a Twitch channel which you can turn down the clomping of feet and the background music and just chill with that, maybe chat with uh, folks. A lot of times we'll get on... Um, We'll get on uh, Discord and chat with our FC members. This is Lavender Beds 5, Plot 36. So if you're not familiar, you need to go one of the, to the major cities to get to any place. That would be Mists for Limza, Lavender Bed for uh, Bredania, and Goblet for Olda. You'll have to server transfer from one of those areas if you want to get to Shiragane or Imperium. Um, unfortunately, you, you, they don't have a way to really uh, do that. So for Shiragane, you go to Kugan, Kugane, Shiragane to from Kugani, sorry. And then for Imperium, you go to Foundation and there is a way to get from there. But all three of them need to be opened in order to go to these areas, but you can physically walk or ride or fly there if you don't have it open. It will still let you in, it's just not as convenient. So we're going to plot 40, 36. So the way I do this is usually these go up to 30-ish you just click over here and find uh, 36. It's right here. The closest is that particular aetherite. Now all the aetherites do not have to be opened. Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. So this is Pink Miko. So here's the entryway and usually there's somebody here greeting you and giving you information like always hide your weapon when you go into any venue because it's considered in poor taste. You don't need to have a weapon out when you're out here to party. And um, also if you minions count as people and if your venue is capped, every minion is one person that can't get in. So um, always 
you know, dismiss your minion and hide your weapons when you come in here. You can wear whatever you want. Um, some people wear um, something like this. Some people wear uh, very clubbish clothes. Some people wear some gear that they've gotten in a dungeon that they really like. It doesn't matter. So here's the bar over here. I've used a cleverly used lighting that would then come through the, the bar area. Here is where the DJs and the dancers would be. And also they have just put in some gambling areas. Gambling has a lot to do with roles. So um, they'll give you instructions on what to do to roll. There's stuff like death roll, which you don't want to hit a specific number. There's sort of a... Um, There's like a blackjack kind of thing and roulette and, they're, and they'll sh explain the rules. Usually the DJ will stand right up here. You can see they really have a limited um, view of things. They usually have a view similar to this. Maybe even goes out a little bit further. But mine's not going out that far. <laughs> so this is Pink Miko. Next one on our list is Cuffed, which is also on Behemoth. It's in um, Goblet. So we will go there. And since I already have a return to that, I'm just going to go there because Alda is Goblet. So we're going to go to Ward 13, and our plot will be 30. Southeast. Um, Cuff has a different feel and flavor and you'll see this with all of the um, venues that they have a theme. It's not unusual for them to keep the theme of the club like Pink Miko but then um, change the layout and design. Nope, that's not the right place. Um, a lot of times they'll have a place where people line up on the outside. Sometimes they won't allow you in before they start because they're waiting for staff to get here. And so, um, and they're closed. All right, well, <laughs> I didn't even see that right away. So they actually close their venue. So that means most likely what happens is right before, um, right before it opens, they'll open it up once the staff has gotten here. So that one was a no-go. We'll have to visit that one. It's up and coming. Okay. So the next one in the goblet area is called Chaotic Cats. It is Ward 9, Plot 51. 
So in order to get to Ward 9, I have to talk to the Flame Private and change my ward. Let's see if uh, this one's open. Plot 51 would be in the subdivision. This is the nightclub of one of my favorite DJs, which is Kit Kat. And so as you can see, when they need to bring the party outside, it's, it's already sort of waiting for you. They've got a place for the uh, DJ to stand up here and some friends. And then there's a place to dance and often there'll be somebody out here to serve drinks, which happened to us yesterday when we came to this venue for the first time. So let's go inside and see what it looks like there. Here's the entryway. It's kind of fun. So they have a bar over here with lots of seats. A lot of times I don't see a whole lot of seats in a bar, like maybe three or four. They don't allot that. But what I've noticed is that if you put these many seats out here, people will sit in them. They'll interact with a barkeep and they will out order drinks and a lot of times RP between each other while they're here. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing if, if a venue can spare the space for it. This right here, it's pretty standard glitching it's not horrible which is nice because the more glitching that you have inside of a venue the more frame rates you're gonna lose for people and it's a little annoying honestly now she's got a couple of um, sofas here I like her use of the decor and the multicolor things going on just like outside it's nice it gives it a nice sort of playful feel now this is a small venue and the benefit of a small venue is you always look like there's a lot going on. When you look at screens, you know, you look at streams and there's everybody's crowded in on a dance floor this size and you'll see some others that aren't that way. But when you get in here and you're in this space and you're, everybody's kind of grouped together, um, people will come because it looks like there's a lot going on. Not to say there isn't, but when you spread people out, it looks like there's less people there, even if there isn't. So what else, what else she has here besides a really nice DJ uh, is she's got these stairs. And these stairs provide areas for people to dance. So it's not like you're losing everything by putting this in here in this way. It gives dancers, so maybe dancers will be up on top here. And then a lot of times I saw, well yesterday I saw people just coming up to dance up here because they wanted to and that perfectly fine it's not like a VIP area VIP areas are a good way for a club to make some money but also a lot of times you don't see them in all right so we're missed ward 17. This is a, one of my favorite places because the beach is insanely cool. This one is uh, Ward 17, Plot 15. Can't really see it in the dark though. I'm sure we'll see another one eventually. Plot 15. Right there. Yes. 
It's new. They've put all this candy out here. I wonder if the inside has changed a bit. It's like Candyland, that game Candyland. You played as a kid and you dreamed that actually all the candy is something you could eat. Hello, welcome to my stream. Appreciate you uh, taking tours with me. Okay, so this is Club Meeps. Is there entryway? Here's one of those scary, uh, yes, hello. Retainers. <laughs> People that come in and help. They just, it does make it look like it's more occupied. There's a lot of black in this club, but that's okay because they're accenting it with things like pink, if I remember correctly. So what they did in here is a little different than last time I was in here. They have an upstairs area that they've glitched in, and this right here is a pain. I'm sure they have some um, some ways they can do it. They've put in a little bit more playfulness in here than they used to have. They've got a little beer spigots. They have a gambit table over here to play at. Yeah, they really have changed a lot of the details in here since last time I came. And then you can come down here on the dance floor. This is way different. Um, so they have some places for dancers up here on this level. I would imagine that this right here is probably VIP up in the corners. Is it easy to get up to? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know how they're getting it up. There's something they're doing. All right, well, fine with that. And then they have, which is a little bit unusual, is they have the DJ in the middle of the room. This one I can't get up on. And they have it look pretty good. Look at the knobs and stuff in there. Record players, TVs, or screens, I should just say. And then they also have another area here for dancing. So they have a lot of uh, plat things in here that you can... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like a stair over there. Um, and then they have some nice little areas for people that want to sit in RP on the sides. So this, the color scheme has actually changed slightly. And it's, it used to be a lot more of that bright pink as you walked in. And it's a little bit more muted now. So let's, look, look, let's see what it looks like. Hello, are you going to let me in? Yeah. <laughs> this is a VIP area up here, definitely, because there's a hot there's hot tubs up here with privacy screens. Hot tubs are nice. Um, we always make jokes about how dirty the water is at the end of the night, though. Um, that's just us being saucy, I would say. They have um, pretty much identical on both sides. You sit on this. You can. So this is Club Meeps.
All right, now that we've done uh, Club Meeps, and that's the last behemoth one I'm going to do today, I will I will revisit these um, areas again uh, with additional clubs in the future, but these are the ones I have today for behemoth. So I'm gonna go, next we're gonna go to Excalibur. And uh, I just have one for Excalibur this time, it's called Club Burzum. Now, Club Burzum is considered a place for after parties, so they don't usually open until 1 Eastern at least. Club Burzum is the epitome of glitching. There is a lot of glitching in here and a lot of ways to make it have the feel of a dungeon. So we're going to go to Lavender Beds. And um, W22P3. Now, if it's still there, Club Burzum has not only a nice inside, but they also have an insanely good outside. Is that still there? Yeah, it's still there. So they've had outdoor parties before, like all day parties, and they have a huge jumping puzzle in here um, outside. Let's see, where can I go here? And start here. You can see like they've glitched in gazebos for both spots. They've got platforms for dancing for people that don't really want to um, do much of a jump puzzle. They just want to party. And then we have, let's see, can I do this one from here? Where do I do that one from? Oops. I think I need to go slower. And often you'll see people over here on top of this. So they're using this sort of uh, balcony area. I've also seen people up into these areas here on these you can jump up these and I've seen some people get on the roof but I'm not gonna have you watch me struggle that bust down but let's go inside and see what it's like here so Club Burzum's theme is dungeon sort of hellish dungeon so you'll see already you have the flavor of this Now you're going to walk through water. Up, let me see how that is, kind of glitch there. Up into the dance floor area, which is in the middle of the room and raised. So you have the ponds around the outside, waterfalls everywhere. The DJ uh, booth is up here. bar is over to the left there's somebody usually here painting another pool there's a guy here called filthy bones who owns it and he usually sits on a chair here or something by the money they have a small bar and 
And let me see, how do I get up there? Okay, here's a VIP area. There is a lot of glitching in here. So the view from the DJ booth is, that's what I was telling you. So all the VIP areas could be crowded with people and you wouldn't see them because all you usually see is the dance floor. So those are VIP and they usually have a guard. Anything with one of these ropes usually has somebody guarding it to not let you in. But we're gonna go in because nobody's here to stop us. So back here is a private area with a uh, pole for people that want to dance on the pole. And it can be done, people. We'll, we'll have a pole lesson another day. And let's see. Welcome to those who have just joined. Appreciate you joining today. Um, okay, so there's that. Then there's another VIP area over here, which is basically just a, a place to sit. There's no pool here. But there is somebody who is grumpy and won't take my cookies when I'm coming here as a Lala. So this is Club Burzum. And that's the only one we're going to do for Excalibur today. So our next one on the list is um, on Exodus. So we're going to go to Exodus next. And it's called the Fox Glove Speakeasy. So off we go to Exodus. And we need lavender bed. and plot 31. This is Fox Glow. Got the retainer on the outside. We have the um, eating area over here, and I believe this is just a package deal that you can put on, add on for growing things. Alright, let's go inside. It doesn't truly look like 
a club on the top level. It doesn't have the same welcome sort of feel. Sounds like there's like a boss man who's gonna whatever. Now I've been in here when it's been fairly busy. Um, we have a couple of resident bards that come in here and this is a heavily RP area. And the bards appear, it seems like they mostly play bards, they're not paying GJs. It's, it's really a stage for, um, for bards. Lots and lots and lots of RP in here when we were here. They serve drinks and things, not too expensive, but every booth and every table and every chair had at least, if not, well, like for the table and chairs, at least two or three. The booths had several. All the all the bar stools were um, were full, and they were RPing and say together about drinking and all kinds of things. So this this is an example of a club that's not necessarily a nightclub, but it is a club for RP and for music. It's a small venue, it doesn't hold a lot, but it doesn't need to. It's a different purpose than dancing and companions and gambling. So this is the Fox Club Speakeasy. I gotta see what's back here quick. There's the doors up. No potty room. Which, honestly, really? All right, the next one is... In Mist. It's called Exo Eterna. This is also one that we often frequent. So let's go over to Limza. And it's uh, worth 19. Plot two. I have seen this absolutely packed outside because inside there was definitely not enough room here's the dj booth outside and you can jump up on these and dance right here which then allows you to get up on a couple of other items up here and it'll let you stay on top of it um <laughs> you can tell they're using a different thing for this um when i was here they actually had Another sort of an area over here that was undercover that's like open sort of area, not stalls, but something similar without backs and fronts. And um, so this has been used several times. They do auctions right here when they have auctions. People auction themselves off for RP, ERP, um, G posing, companionship of some sort, art other activities so it's not all just ERP what happens here it's a very small subset of it so let's go inside and look at the nightclub but again any large nightclub is smart and has an outside ready for when they cap so here's their entrance Oops. Here. 
there's some powerful glitching going on. A lot of times they're blocking you off from the standard routes because they don't want you, they want you to guide you a certain way and that's, this is an example of that. So for Exo Eterna, you come up from the bottom, this whole area is glitched in. So you have a bar, it has three stools. You can see where there's an opportunity here for additional spots for people to sit and they don't take that opportunity. But there may be other activities that are going on down there. I guess that would be a place where a waitress could technically come and get their drinks. So this is their bar area. Got a couple of pits uh, with um, with couches in it or sofas. Usually, at least one of them is full. They have another area up here for the same. They have a hot tub over here. So you can see this layout is fairly different. They've got a couple of platforms up here. This is where the DJ would be standing. Dancers usually on both sides. And they're often behind here. They'll have bots doing spells so that there's a bunch of um, sort of clutter, noise clutter there. Another spot over here for people to, to relax. I don't know how they get people in here. Can I glitch into this? Yeah. So a lot of times you can glitch into something just by keep walking on it. So here's the pole that was from above and then they'll put um, people that are, well actually bots that are doing spells in sync down here. Let's see if I can get out of here now. <laughs> you do if you get stuck somewhere in a house oops you don't have to leave leave you just go to social housing move to the front door and it will take you back out of there let's go back downstairs So this is Exo Eterna. Clever use of the summoning bell. Yeah, trapped there forever. It didn't work though, did it? So let's go back. And the next one on our list is... Both of them are in Shirogane. And the first one we're going to go to is the tunnel. So let's go there. Let's go to Kagane. And we're going to um, Ward 8, Plot 7.
easy peasy one on here. So here is the outdoor area. They've got a fire pit, a hot tub, a bunch of items. Again, this is the tunnel. They just went through a redesign. Pretty sure it's this way. Sometimes there's so much black tile in here, it takes me a minute to figure out where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, this is it. So they have a very like subway tunnel feel with the rusted grating and whatnot. So you come in and again the DJ booth, this, we've seen this a couple of times, it's in the middle. They're trying to mix it up a little. Here's where dancers would dance, which I always think the sh shading here is not so great. Um, especially even in MSQ when you're in like a shaded area and you all look funny, including the NBCs and like the lighting here stinks. And that's no exception. Here is the bar. Here's the DJ booth. Oh, wait, is that the DJ booth? Hmm. I think it's up here. Yeah, this is it. It's too bad that this is so high because it's really cool stuff here and it seems like it's backwards. Maybe it's just because they didn't finish this out. So here's what the DJ sees. So what they do have here, even though the dance floor is a lot smaller than it used to be, it used to be really open is that they have nooks and crannies in here for activities. Um, and I like this thing, the rail here, like it's part of a subway. That's, that's pretty cool. So in here we have a little RP area. And this corner over here, we have a hot tub. Oh, can't get in that way. It's probably over here on the other side. Holy cow. There's a glitch in there. Oh, here we go. We can, um... I see often, I see people in here. <laughs> in the showers, they'll put their swimsuits on. Um... Again, there's a another hot tub. So that entrance is a little tricky. At least it was for me. It probably isn't for anyone else. And then upstairs, what do we have? Another area where you can dance and party. If it's really crowded, you'll see people up in these areas. These look to be VIP areas. And they're for tall people, not so great. <laughs> Okay, and then there's another one up on the other side, but I think it looks slightly different, so I'm gonna run back up there again. It's a little bit more, um, like a little bar up here. And a place to uh, sell out. And I think that's it for here. It's a bit of glitching in here as well. I do not envy designers, although they're used to doing it. So this is the tunnel.
The next place and the last place that we're going to go on Exodus is called the Kennel. The Kennel is also in Shiragani, Ward 7, not Ward 8. So we're actually going to go find somebody to talk to. We go to the front of the house and find our way back so we can change our ward. seven. This is also good if you don't you miss here somebody giving you instructions or you misread it. You can get your way out of there without having to go through a big rigmarole. So we're currently in uh, Ward 8. We're going to Plot 7. Um, an RP, a very heavy companion, uh, place with a dance floor, it's LGBTQ+, friendly, their uh, website is very um, open about what kinds of uh, companion services are available. They're open Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So I haven't been saying what people are open, but you can see them on the site. Is this the same? In my place. Let's see what we got here. Ward 7, plot 15. I mistyped that. That's why. <laughs> it's 15. I was like, huh, there isn't even any colorful stuff I'm used to seeing. So 15 is a little bit further down. A venue dedicated to the immersive RP experience. All are welcome no matter who you are or what you like. We welcome new players and the RP veterans alike. Join our wonderful bartenders and open dance floor. Come unleash your inner beast tonight. gazebo glitch over here. You can see when they're overlapping things, sometimes they'll get a little funky on them. That happens a lot. Okay, let's go in and check out the kennel. Upstairs. Let's look downstairs where the kennel is. Well, there is a 
mostly I see bards in here. I don't know if they've ever had um, a DJ in here. But I've been in here dancing and there's been bards that have come in. There's been dancers up there or on the side over here. Um, then they have an upstairs area as well for uh, additional RP. Then it looks like this is the VIP area up here. A lot of times VIP areas cost like 200k a night or per person or you can buy it out for a couple million. Um, buying stuff out like that is often a status symbol for people who are very rich. Um, or they want to do it because they have a bachelorette party or something like that. So this is the kennel. Next one on our list is on Famfrit. We have several on Famfrit as well. So let's go to Famfrit. So the next one is in mists. Let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Limsa. And this one is called the Bunny Drop. Now it used to be, and I think they've taken it out. There used to be a glitch where you have to drop through the ground to get to the bottom floor, but unfortunately that fun little bit they took out. <laughs> um, but and they kind of redid it a little bit. So let's go there. It is Ward 1, Plot 15. would be behind us there. It's called the bunny drop. They kept it fairly simple in the yard. Let's see what it's like inside. So this right here, I believe is, yeah, they kept it on the first floor. They blocked off the bottom floor, they put it on the first floor. And then they actually, I think, blocked off, I don't know if they blocked it off. Let's go up and look. I think these may be rooms, like VIP, this is a gambling area. That happens there. See what's on the other side. A lot more areas for dancers. I can see why they had to block some stuff off because it's a lot of items to have in here. 
and you are limited to, I believe, two or four hundred. Can't remember. So this is the bunny drop. Here is the DJ booth. This is a view probably they would have. There's the dance floor. And then over here is their bar and there's sort of lounge area. Not a whole lot of light over here. So this is a bunny drop. The next one is in mist as well, but it's Ward 22, so let's let's uh, go back to our guy and ask him to let us switch wards. Taurus, which is War 22. Going to plot 45, which would be in subdivision. There's 40. Let's just take this one. just don't see it right away. Tataras has sort of a hellish sort of thing if I remember correctly. The color scheme. It's a very pleasant exterior. Here's the entryway. They've got some gambling areas in here. It's 
go down to the uh, club part. So I've glitched this up here. The VIP area. My guess is this is VIP as well. And here's the dance floor. DJ booth. Areas to sit in RP. They will do auctions in here as well as I believe companions. They have a full bar menu. Here's the dance floor. Again, it's not huge, but it, because of all the nooks, it's probably good that it isn't because people RP and you don't see them on screen. So, so this is the Club Tartarus. You know, you can see a lot of the different flavors based upon the theme. So in that respect, the last fan print we have is in the new Imperium. So we're going to go to that one. And it's called... Serenity Nightclub. Let's go to Imperium. And in Imperium, they've already got one open called Serenity. And I don't remember if this was a change from before the housing auction, but um, it's already up and running. And this is Ward 15, Plot 60. So this is a large plot. Welcome to the stream. So far I haven't caught any, I haven't been caught in any of these, so. One thing I don't like about Imperium is, where is my eighth right? I gotta go find it. That's just a minor annoyance, so. We need to go to plot 60. Serenity Nightclub, Food, Drink, Companions, Dancing. Gotta go up, I think. Serenity Nightclub. It's a nightclub and bathhouse. Let's check it out. So here's the top floor. And they blocked actually the, the ground level and they block the top floor off it would go up those stairs it's over here this is a small area for a bathhouse area I don't think that's what that's for though. it looks like a living quarters 
let's go down to the club area. So here's the bar. Some of the bars look very, very similar as do the nooks, but their color schemes are different. Looks like VIP is upstairs and we'll get there in a second. I don't know if you can jump up. No. Okay. Over here is a VIP area. This is for dancing. Oh, here's the stairs. There is um, another jacuzzi there. It's pretty cozy, honestly. Two areas for other VIP stuff. So they're discreetly hiding all of the bath, all of the jacuzzis. So unless you were really looking for them, you would only see the dance floor because I haven't been up here to do anything because I don't usually, I don't pay for VIP, I'm too cheap. So unless somebody says it's open for everyone, I don't go up there. But there's what three of these up here three of these I guess they considered a bathhouse I do like the color of the uh, leather that they've dyed it and up here is the DJ booth You can see a little bit of the VIP up here. So this is Serenity Nightclub. Is it for fam fritz and then I'm gonna move on to we're gonna move on to um, sorry morpho we're going to Lamia next lavender beds so let's get going first so I'm not going to waste that other one. And now we're going to uh, War 23. And we're going to Plot 36. Morpho's open on Saturdays. 
a lot of times my clubs are open different days of the week and um, not all at the same time because then they're competing against each other and DJs that they can uh, hire. You let me out on this way. Yeah, that's not really like, intuitive there. This is Morpho. Upper level. There's a bar. Dance floor, VIP above. Let me see if I can find a way up there. They used sort of a butterfly theme and they added sort of Grecian elements. It works very well, honestly. Oh, here's your way up. There's some fans there. back and forth in the background. So this is Morpho. The next one we have on our list is Goblet. We have actually, we have another one in Lavender Bed, so let's do that one. Yep. Let's do Black Python next. That's Ward 20. We are in Ward 23, so we need to go get out of here. If you're leaving a club, I usually use the move to door so people don't see you walking out. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do that. But then when you come in, they think, hey, welcome to our place, but you're just actually leaving. <laughs> Whoops. Or 
420. Flat 60. And just like the name sounds, it's most likely closely related to snakes of some sort. This is a weird way to get in. If I remember right, yep. And I think it's through this door. Yeah. And as usual, the bars in the back. dance floor. It's a small one. They have um, dancing places here and here and a VIP area above which we'll look at it in a second. And then you have the DJ booth. in. So this is black python. Let me do the tour again, sorry. The next one is we have two in the goblet left in Lamia. One of them I'm not sure is open. Right before Endwalker dropped, we went there on their last night. They said they wouldn't be open for a while. Rumor had it wasn't open, but we'll try that one last on Lamia. The next one we're going to go to is in Goblet. It's called Black Velvet. Again is called Black Velvet. I 
here is a um, welcome area and it also has and actually this is the bar Saturday 9 to 12 EST is the only time they're open usually the DJ stands up here way up top they have plenty of dancers this is a really horrible angle to get it sometimes when you do this it just doesn't work as far as they block that stuff off, I think all of it. Looks like this is all just used for personal use. sense considering what they have on top I have seen there's actually a door over here for another sort of bar area unusual they have the door here I would leave it open it's over here I just wanted that to be the same on both sides. And here is maybe decor decorative. Um, not hugely my favorite venue, except we are mesmerized with the DJ that plays here a lot, and I really like him, so I'll come and listen. I follow him on uh, Twitter so that I can find other places as well. The time we were here, we had somebody RP harassing, which kind of put us off putting when I'm trying to dance to have somebody doing that. And the, the problem is, there's no recourse. I think you can be blackballed out of a venue, but not immediately. So, this is. Black Velvet. And the last one here is Club 808. And if it's open, I'm going to be really happy. And that is Goblet Ward 11. So let's go back and switch our wards. Go to plot 35.
and it's locked. Wah, wah. So it's locked, probably it's a Nipsey house when it's not an AOA, so I will make a note of that as well. And go there when they're open. Uh, Club 808 is usually open at 12 a.m. in this midnight. Every night? Hmm. It's a little crazy. Alright, well, we know where we can go back to. We do an after party night. Alright, so the next uh, server we're going to go to is Leviathan. And we only have one there, it's in Shiragane, Shiragane. So we're just going to go somewhere. So we can switch, ser switch servers. Yeah, we are miserous. It's cool to like listening to him. All right, Leviathan. And we're going to Ward 4. And we're going to Plot 37. This is all Hrothgar cats are in this guild. It's very LGBTQ plus friendly. So this is the top area. This is just the top floor. That's cool. So here it is. They have a whole area up here that you can VIP in. Lots of red. A couple of hot tubs. A bar. When I came here, uh, last time there was a drink called um, the frozen lady 
And instead they gave me something I consumed, they gave me a pot of blue dye, which I thought was freaking hilarious. It's not like I wouldn't use it anyway, but it's not like I'm going to drink dye either. I suppose I could have dyed my clothes on the spot, but I did not. I saved it. Over here, it looks like we got areas for RP. Lots and lots of dance poles. I think you can glitch. Yeah. All I have to do is jump up for that one. You can dance on this one. I don't really see this as a place as a nightclub in the traditional sense of there's a DJ. I don't think that honestly there's a bunch of DJs in here. I could be wrong though. I just don't see a spot usually that they create for a DJ, you know, so lots of RP here. Our, um, our FC group who comes to these venues came to check it out and we brought our Hrothgar. I think we only have two in the FC at that time. We only had one and we, uh, everybody crowd around him cause he was the new Hrothgar cause they're, you know, they're not too many of them. So this is the soft spot. So the next one we're going to go to is called, it all, are, all of them are on Ultras, is our last stop. We have one in Mist and two in Goblet, so I am going to go to Mist first, and then Trevor Transfer. And the one we're going to next is called Steamed and Hammered. And that one is Ward 18. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Okay, so for this one, it is uh, Ward 18, plot 5. So not too far away. They do have this, which is utilizing an upstairs. They glitched this all out here so that there was a spot up here, which is interesting. Again, this is called Steam and Dead Hammered. And Steamed and Hammered, it looks like it's on this floor, but let me double check. Downstairs. I wonder if they're going through a redesign. Because this is not how I recall it. There's an empty nightclub right there, folks. Just right there. <laughs> so it may be that they're doing that up here. Yeah, it looks like it is. I'm in the right place. 
me double check that. Eighteen plot five. This is weird. Okay. Used to have a lot more rusty sort of feel to it. I guess the DJ comes up here. Maybe they sold it. This is not the same. This used to have a real steampunk vibe and it's gone so I don't know if they switched areas can't imagine that that would be what happened to it so I'll have to keep an eye on it to see what the deal is okay the last two are in the goblet the first one's called Hell's Kitchen Let's see if that one's still open. It's Ward 12, Plot 30. Kitchens open Saturdays in the evening. supposed to be a um, let's see it's a little bit less like a club and more like a place to eat like a club than it used to be. Looks like it's more for an RP than it is a dance club anymore. This used to be a um, interesting venue, a bar combination and what looked to be leather and lace and end up being a little less more musical than my preferences. So the last one on our list is called Carbuncle and the Frog. And Carbuncle and the Frog pulls off what a lot of venues cannot pull off, which is um, different kinds of music support. So let me get to Ward 7.
thematically they stay true to their name, the carbuncle and the frog. And in that vein, I think I will dress as a carbuncle for this last one. Let's get there first though. We need to be at, one thir at plot 30, so I'll come over here. They're known for gambling, labards, and DJs. I've seen wedding parties there. I've seen bard concerts of various kinds. That's not us. Wrong way. Okay. I didn't think it looked right. I've been here many times. My significant other is a DJ and will play here. I've got resident bards that are also, they play here and we've come to their concerts. <coughs> Excuse me. So this um, is downstairs and they glitch a whole floor before you get down there. Am I in the right place? Don't think so. Okay, this is not it. I have to be in the wrong house or wrong ward. It's a nice house though. I'll give them that. Let me see where I'm at. Am I on Ultras? I'm on Leviathan. That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Alright, well let's go back to what ones I didn't say were there anymore. Steven, okay, well, I'm on Ultras. I'm not an ultras. This is what happens when you don't pay attention, people. Right here. Let's go back to Limsa and make that change. And we'll try this again. Details, people. It's all in the deets. All in the deets. Now let's get on the right uh, server. What's more with feeling? <laughs> yeah, branches. I need to be on the right server for all this stuff to work, apparently. All right, let's try again. We're gonna go see uh, Steam and Hammered, which is Ward 18, Plot 5. Here we go. Steamed and hammered. This has got to be right. This is confusing me.
Okay, so does this team a hammer? I'm having a little trouble. So there's a venue there, I just need to figure out how to get in. Unless they just block it off. This is just a little freaky. Looks like they blocked it all off for some reason. If I can get up there. We were up there for um, It's above everything else, as you can see. They blocked that whole thing off. I wonder if they've closed the nightclub. Well, this is the best I can do, apparently. It's glitching through the wall. could see part of it at least. Hell's Kitchen is uh, Ward 2, 12, Goblet 30. Alright, Ward 2, Plot 30. Let's um, get out of here. kitchen is in Ward 12. Plot 30. All right, here we go. Hell's Kitchen. And they're closed. Well, alrighty then. The last one <clears throat> is a carbuncle and the frog. And that is Ward 7, Plot 30.
This is a really nice venue. I like it a lot. I like it even more since I can get in. <laughs> Again, the Carbuncle and the Frog are bard friendly and DJ friendly, gambling friendly. They do a lot of those things differently and they're open a lot. So, which is kind of nice. So here's the top floor. I think they have bathrooms here too, don't they? I think so. If I remember right, I kind of checked them out. Yep. With actual toilets. <laughs> um, not many sure how many people RP the toilet. What I like about this area too is that they put a red carpet in so you know where you're supposed to go. That's not always true, as you've seen today. So they glitched this whole upper floor. They have gambling tables here. They have a bar. They serve food and drinks. And then your way to get down here is over on the side. So up here is the DJ booth, but I've seen bards perform up here. Originally there wasn't a DJ booth up here, and then they actually put one up. Um, and I've had my uh, significant other is DJ Branches, and so I've been here several times supporting him as he plays. I've seen weddings happen here, RP happen here, places for people to sit, places for people to dance. Even RP folks will, um, even bard, even when bards are playing, people will get on the dance floor, which is, um, is kind of nice. It's a very calming area. It's very uh, playful. They're very, uh, RP friendly, if that's your gig. This over here is this VIP. I think on stage, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's the owner, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to get his attention. A way to get on stage without having to jump over the venue like I just did. I think it's on both sides too. I think this is to give that little shiny bit on the outside. See how that goes? So we end our tour here at the Carbuncle and the Frog, and as I promised, I'll get in my Carbuncle suit. The Carbuncle and the Frog. There's a frog. And here's a carbuncle. Seems appropriate.
So I'd like to uh, thank you all today for coming along for the ride. Yeah, I got caught, but nobody actually caught me because he didn't talk to me at all. So he's not even at his computer or his controller. I'd like to thank you all for coming today and uh, we'll do some more specific types of venues like bathhouses or tea houses or other clubs as I find them. There's going to be plenty. So thanks for coming along. If you haven't, please follow me and share this with other folks so I can um, get more people exposed to the RP and the club life and um, have yourself a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.